Hello again, welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer from Cotley Brewery and it's a Tawny Owl. Finest Somerset beers. Now from what I can gather on this beer, if I'm going to hazard a guess, I feel like a dark beer today. And this one seems dark. It seems a dark beer. Um, I might be wrong. I'm hazarding a guess, but don't you just love the artwork on that? Look at the owl there with his eyes fully fixed on probably his prey, a mouse, or a field vole, something of that description. But I really do like Cotley's beers. I've enjoyed, well, I've enjoyed all of them so far. I am hazarding a guess, I'm giving it a guess as to whether or not it's a dark beer and oh it kind of is it does look as though there might be a pinch of just a pinch of dark malts in there, just a pinch of roasted malts it's certainly, it's certainly not a stout. There you go. That is a lovely bronze colour. Absolutely smashing. And I, I really like the, as well as the artwork on the bottle, I'm also a big fan of the artwork on their glasses. Take a look at this. Let me spin the glass round. Look at that. Isn't that brilliant? Well, there's owls there and hawks and all sorts of different things. Now, I'm not saying... I'm not saying I'm a magpie and I like glistening, shiny things, but there are certain... There are certain qualities I do like on the bottle. One thing before we get into the beer is one thing I really, really gets on my nerves is when you see a brewery and all the labels are coming off. They're like peeling off around the neck and they're peeling off before you've even picked it up off the shelf. These have been put on brilliantly. There is no, there's nothing, they look like they've been put on by hand. Um, okay, I'm waffling a bit. Let's get the nose. Oh, it smells. It's this smell. This smells nicely hoppy. I can almost tell in the smell that this is going to be one of those classic British bittersweet beers. So it's like a like a mahogany bronze in colour. It's a slightly off white head. It is nice amounts of carbonation in this beer. It's not raging like um like a fire extinguisher. There's nice amounts of carbonation. So again, I'm gonna have another nose. It smells biscuity, biscuity and bready. Cheers. I'm gonna dig in. Oh. oh, this is one to savour. This is one to savour. I didn't give the ABV, believe it or not. I'm going to give it out because it's very smooth. It's 3.8% ABV. Oh, and in that in that 3.8% ABV, it's staggering that we can get so much flavours out of our beers. I'm still at this moment while I'm talking, after the first sip, getting a lovely biscuity biscuity tone right at the end of the palate there's toffee there's caramel it's not that I keep forgetting the name I, I need to get the name of this there's a certain caramel in a toffee flavor in beer which is an a, it's an additive it's an artificial ingredient this is not that this is not that at all 
Um, you get it in some of the St. Peter's beers. Um, I'm just trying to think of a few other brews. I, I, I imagine it's in Newcastle Brown Ale. But this is natural. And believe it or not, some people actually like that flavour, that artificial additive. Some people actually buy the beer. It's like a butterscotch. Oh, it's terrible. It's like a butterscotch, horrible, nasty taste. It's also, I think it's in Mann's. I think it's, in, it's either in Mann's brown ale, I believe, as well. But back to the point of this beer. This is complete. The, the caramel is coming off the malts. It's completely natural. The toffee comes from the malts. It really is one to savour. Even though it's 3.8% ABV, and you'll probably be looking to, it's probably very tempting to, to, to rush it and, and session it and session it. You could if you want to, but I really would go to a pub to find this. It's really good in the bottle. Couldn't imagine how good it would be on draft. But I'd be looking Sunday afternoon, buy a pint of this, Sunday afternoon newspaper, probably enjoy this for a good three quarters of an hour. Mmm. Yeah, it really is. And it's hoppy as well. It's hoppy. There's hints of just small hints of lemon and and there's hints of forest fruits in there. It's, it's not huge, it's not huge. The flavour for me is predominantly this wonderful, wonderful toffee and biscuity. It's also, it's, it's kind of nutty as well. Nutty flavours in this beer. I'm just going to wash it round. Get the nose. Oh, it's really nice, really nice. Oh, I could stand and smell it for a while, but I won't. I'm going to get back to reviewing it. Mm. That's lovely. Now then, let's give it a little read on the back of the bottle. Finer Somerset beers on the front. 3.8%, 500 ml, so it's just under a pint. But it's a standard bottle in Britain. Uh, Tony Owl Premium Bitter is a classic West Country beer whose robust malty nose has hints of toffee and citrus fruit. Now this is the first time I picked this beer up and read the label. Uh, on the palate, the crisp biscuity maltiness, tangy fruitiness and satisfying bittersweet finish leave you wanting more. It is a classic British bitter. Bittersweet toffee, nutty, malty, bready. It's really good. Uh, I'm just going to read this quickly. Continuing a 200 year old Georgian brewing tradition in Wivaliscum, Cotley Brewery has become one of the most successful award-winning independent breweries in England, producing around 3 million pints of beer each year. Now, again on that note, 3 million pints of beer a year and they're still able to get a level of quality even though it's quite a big production three million pints there's 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 a quality there it it, it just stands out some sometimes you'll, you'll you'll crack crack a beer open and you know that it's being rushed I think there's a lot of time gone into this at Cotley Brewery, we are committed to producing a range of outstanding beers brewed using a local source of water and locally grown malted barley. I'm going to stop there again because, again, I just reviewed the Otter Brewery, Otter Bright, and they use a natural spring water from Devon. These, are guys, these guys are in the same kind of region in Somerset. And again, they're using a, a local source of water. 
which is probably a spring water, which is fantastic. Okay. Where was I? A oh, water. And a locally grown malted barley. English hops and a unique strain of cottony yeast combined to produce our distinctive Somerset cask condition beers. Cottony Brewery supports the Hawk and Owl Trust. And there's a telephone number for the Hawk and Owl Trust. But if you watch it in America, there's no need to give that out. Look at this beer. Look at the quality in this beer. It's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Time for a rating. I just just took a deep breath. I like to take a deep breath as well as taking a mouthful of the beer. Because it's just the ultimate experience. It's going up your nose, it's going up your nasal passage, it's going down your throat, it's going all over your palate, and it's just you're getting you're getting the most out of the beer. For me, all the biscuity flavours, the toffee, the, the nuttiness, the breadiness, that classic British bittersweet taste. It's a classic bitter. I really enjoy it. Really, really enjoy it. I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. It really is. really is a good beer. Please contact Cotley Brewery at www.cotleybrewery.com. Fantastic website there. You can order all the beers, merchandise, glassware, gift packs, the lot. Thanks for watching another edition. Thanks to Cotley for sending, and cheers.